Hey everyone, this is Zora from Smooth Casuals, and today's video is going to be about Honor. Now, there is insane rewards to be had for getting very good Honor in the KVK, so I'm going to give you all of my tips and tricks on how to do so, as well as one very important tip that makes you have as much Honor as you want, as long as you have the time to invest. <laughs> So when you're inside the KVK, you can use this screen to see the honor roll. Now, this basically lets you see kingdom aligned individual honor. Now, how do you get honor in KVK? If you click here, you will be told basically that you have to do barbarian content as well as the first occupation of holy sites and paths, continual occupation, as well as runes of altars or darkness. Now, I'm going to go over some of that. Um, the basic, most efficient way is obviously killing barbarians. Now, if you wait until the later zones where you have the 36 to 40, this is where you get the most bang for your buck for the amount of time spent. As well as when you gather, you get a few honor points from the resource node, as well as the barbarian forts, which uh, if you make the calculation for AP cost, um, 60 honor for one fort, which is 140 AP, is more honor than if you did six barbarian for 10 honor. So barbarian forts are the most efficient uh, in terms of AP, but not by much, and they take a lot longer. But it also just means that you should be doing Barbarian Forts anytime you can, the whole time, because it also gives so many more rewards, so it is definitely worth it. Um, as well, now we're going to go over the Barbarians. There is many ways of getting Barbarians efficiently, such as chaining them and group killing them for free. Uh, I'm going to go over this a bit later in the video because it will be the main purpose of this video. But first, I want to go through the rewards and see why this is so worth it. So from this leaderboard here, you can see that the kingdoms have honor for everyone on the kingdom and the rewards here are they are. So they're not insanely amazing, but it's a lot of resources for all your free to play players, all the players that are back home farming and stuff so that you can help your big players. Uh, it's, it's a lot of stuff like for completely free, especially if you manage to get high rank. Um, as well, alliances. Now, this will change a lot during the time of the KVK because a lot of the objectives that you capture when you go toward the middle give insane amount of honor. And now we're still at the very beginning. So a lot of this is not going to stay the same. But you can see that the number one alliance gets all of this for every single member in the alliance. Now, this is obviously a very cool show off kind of thing. But anyone in the rank two, three, uh, you're getting quite a lot of these cultures. If you think about hundreds or something members, everybody getting 10, 15, 20 sculptures, that's that's hundreds and hundreds of like sculptures and tens of thousands of gems worth, as well as 100 speed ups for everything. Uh, that's a lot of speed ups. So this is definitely something you want to achieve with your alliance and as well as individual. Now, of course, a lot of people are doing war at the beginning, so it takes a longer time to kind of get a high point here, as well as most people are waiting to use their AP on the level 40 barbs because it's much more efficient to do that this way. Um, you'll see. So there's something special about this reward for individual. Of course, the rewards are absolutely crazy here. This is uh, insane value. This is probably one of the best rewards you can get in the game for a single event. And you also get a special city skin here, which is uh, quite good, but depending on who your playstyle is. And this really only applies to whales because you'll see only the top 20 have it. So it stops here. So unless you're in the top 20 of honor in the entire KVK, which is thousands of people, this will not apply to you. Now, you won't be able to get in the top 20 if you don't spend a lot of money in this game. Uh, so that's not even something that I'm going for. I don't actually really like the skin effects that much. But it is still something that you want to achieve as high as possible because uh, the rewards are just great in general. So, of course, you want to make sure that everyone in your kingdom, everyone in your alliance is pushing for honor because that is how you're going to get the most bang for your buck and the most rewards. And as well, if you go in the achievements here, you will see that there is a lot of extra reward that you get as well for having honor. You see here, 40,000 individuals, 60,000 individuals, 80,000, 100. So it goes up to 150,000. And uh, look at those rewards. That is not something to laugh at. That is a lot of rewards. So, of course, one of the best ways to achieve that is being in one of the top alliances that conquers a lot of the objectives, as well as being very active, using AP every day, and making sure that you participate in the events such as the ruins and stuff like that, because that is a way to get a lot of honor as well. Now, you also will get extra honor here for your alliance. So if you are an alliance that has a lot of honor, as well as you having some individual honor, you can see here you will get some reward. And uh, it goes up to here, you'll see. So 
you can get 50,000 and your alliance gets 6 million, which is very achievable for, uh, I'd say, top four, top five alliances, as well as getting 100 something thousand honor for one person over the course of two months is actually very easy. I have like, what, 26,000 and I have not used a single AP potion at all. I've only killed barbarians with my AP. Even there's been so much war that I have not even used AP most days. I'm neglecting it very, very badly. And I'm still like halfway there already. So it's not going to be that hard to do. And as well as the kingdom has, again, the same kind of thing you will see here. So you can get 50,000 honor. And let's see, my kingdom already has this requirement. Now, the rewards are not as great, but, you know, all of this added up is absolutely crazy amount of honor. Now, as I said earlier, the ruins are one of the things that gives the most honor for players. Um, you can see you get 40 honor per minute. This opens once every 39 hours and then stays open for one hour. And players, just by standing in this vicinity and killing some barbarians that spawn that are very easy to kill, you will basically gather this honor. So if you're there for 60 minutes and you're gathering 40 honor per minute, you're going to get a few uh, thousand honor points for free, basically. So it's definitely worth doing. You can do this, like I said, every like one day and a half kind of thing. So the, like, we can do it in 12 hours again. So, of course, if you can do this as many times as possible with your alliance, you will really get a lot of free honor for absolutely nothing. Now, of course, there's not so many of these runes and only one alliance can do them. So that will kind of change things. They're spread around the map everywhere. But, um, you know, if you're in one of the alliance that is actually doing them and conquering them, like there's one here. So some of the main alliances will definitely have that for their members. So that's a perk of being in one of the top alliance. And in order to be in one of the alliance, what you have to do is basically be very active, be a fighter, send troops, help your alliance and help your whales by giving resources if you can't send troops. So, of course, that's, you know, that's the way to make sure to get all the rewards in KVK is just play KVK. Um, as well, you see all these kind of objectives. So this here on these ones, when you capture them, you get a bonus honor as well as your alliance and kingdom will get bonus honor every minute for the entire duration of you having this. So for like weeks, basically. Um, so that's, of course, another way that's really good. Now, we'll go over here. Let's see this or objective here. Now, this is going to be in the next zone. You see, we don't have it yet, but this is Alliance Honor and this is Kingdom Honor. So you'll see that the alliances that capture this will get a big boost as soon as they capture it. And as well as now, they'll get seven per minute afterwards for many days. Uh, this goes on for almost every objective on the map. Um, as well as when you obviously get the ziggurat at the end, there's some really special uh, like 200,000 here and 15,000 both times. So now not everyone can be in the top alliance and be super active in KVK and get all of these rewards and do the runes. So of course you have to also just do barbarian content, which most likely will include a lot of barbarians in general. Now there is many ways to do this efficiently. Of course, if you're going to send five marches of peacekeepers and you're going to hit one barbarian at a time with five armies, if you hit level uh, 36 to 40, that's basically getting 50 honor every time you hit a barbarian. So if you hit like a few hundred of them over the course of a few months, or I guess a few weeks, uh, you'll get a few thousand honor. And you'll, you know, you'll have enough for what you need. If you were to want 100,000 honor points by just killing barbarians with five marches, you need to kill 2,000 barbarians. Uh, of course, that seems like a lot, but if you do 50 a day, only for 40 days out of the 60 of kvk and 40 a day doesn't take that long to drag your army around i mean it may might take you like an hour it might take you a bit less so that is one way to do it now of course the most optimal way to do it is for free without using a lot of ap because of course you're going to be constrained by your ap and the way to do that is using champions like Wai sang yi and as well someone like sun tzu would work um, a lot of people do a strategy where they will use uh, someone like Richard in the first, and then they will use a Wai Sangyi or a Sun Tzu on the secondary. And this is kind of how you can go indefinitely. You basically hit one Barbarian and let these guys kill, AoE grab other Barbarians, and then when they'll hit you, you'll reply and attack back, but you won't waste AP, so you'll get Barbarians for free. So a combination of all of these activities together is how you're going to get your maximum honor. And the ones who have the most time on their hand doing this every day will obviously get the bigger prize. Now, some very small spenders could really gather the top 20 if they did this every day for a long, long time. Now, for my example, um, I'm going to use someone such as uh, Charles 
in my primary because he is one of my strongest commander and he is still very tanky. Uh, Richard is probably better or you can also use Peacekeeper such as Lohar. The only difference being that you might refresh your march more often. Uh, the loss of 10 AP there is very minimal of course if you're chaining dozens of barbarians for free. So try and go with what you can do. Um, Richard is probably the safest option but also probably the slowest option. So I choose someone more like Martel and actually I'm going to test out quite a few different peacekeepers and try and get it even faster uh, but for the example right now I'm going to use Martel with infantry and as you see my Waisongi is expertise so the difference being that instead of being a fan shaped it's a circular area which makes it 10 times easier. Uh, Waisongi being expertise is probably one of the best thing you can do in this game because you will get so much more value out of getting so many free barbarians and if you're going to play this game for a long time you're going to be able to do this for every kvk coming up and this will apply for every type of barbarian events as well for the rest of your rock life so um i cannot recommend expertising warsong enough of course now i will show you an example basically the best way to do this is you go around the map and you can zoom out and look for these little uh, icons uh, of course i'm in a zone that's kind of busy right now but so i just have to come right here and i find some already uh, so Basically, you want to attack ones that are in the middle. So if I attack this one here, the AoE of my War Song Yi should be able to grab this one. Then I'll move around here and I'll grab these ones. And then technically I could move around here and grab this one. You can go on a chain on like definitely as long as you're patient. Or you can go and do like a cluster of five or six for one time the AP. So for 50 AP, I could do all, all of this maybe. Or I will probably try and do four of them depending on the time and uh, energy I want to spend on this. Now, when we're going to get into later, later zone, there's going to be clusters of barbarians around these little areas. And, you know, they're going to be like very high level, 37, 36, 32. So you can start here and then drag here, get here, get here, get here. You know, it can go on for a long, long time. And, of course, the ones who are going to be best at finding these clusters, as well as you can go back to your previous early zones where no one is at the moment. And you can find very, very big clusters there as well. Um, even like if I'm going just right here, you can see like there's three of them stacked on each other here. And then there's quite a few around. And when there's no city, there will be even more. So like, you know, look at that. There's quite a few around here. Now, if you're patient, you could get all of them for only one time the 50 action point. So I'm going to show you the way to do this. Um, obviously, there is a lot of little tricks to this because... When you attack a Barbarian, you can see here the Rage is generating slowly. And then once it's full, my Y Song Yi is going to do a full AoE. You'll see it's going to be green. There you go. So everything in here will get hit by the AoE. Now, you want to basically drag your armies. But you don't want them to stop attacking you. Because if you do, like you see, they start moving and they stop attacking for a few seconds. If they do that too much and too often, they will eventually just stop attacking you completely. And then your AoE will be like wasted. That will have been a complete waste. Now, as you see, I've grabbed one, so I'm going to wait here. I'm going to kill this one first, and then I can keep moving a little bit. So it's it's really not too hard, uh, but it's still kind of risky because you can de-aggro them by moving too far. So I recommend doing very, like you can see this one is like, it's close to de-aggroing already. So do very small movements. I recommend doing like a small little push like this, and then you just stop moving right away. And you can do this over and over and over again. As long as you don't stop attacking them, they will always keep coming for you. And my guy will basically kill them all one by one because he will target them as soon as he stops killing one uh, because he's being attacked, so he'll defend himself. And you saw, I've I had full energy before I started this. Now I've used 50 and um, I've killed one already and all of these three guys will die. So for 50 AP, I've killed 200 AP worth of Barbarian. Now, I could go even further and try and drag it all the way here very slowly. And after this one, I could drag here. Now, this is not an optimal location. It's beside my base for the purpose of this video. But you can see that if you find a cluster that has a long line of monsters or barbarians, you can chain them one by one. I have people in my alliance that have done this and have killed over 30 chains with one time the AP consumption. So... Of course, this is a trick that takes a lot of time and coordination, and you might fail many times before you get it completely right. It's a skill you have to learn, uh, but hopefully this video can help you understand how it works because this is the way that you're going to be able to farm as much honor as possible, especially if you are a low spender or free to play and you don't have tons of AP potion. This is the way you're going to get the most reward for the least amount of effort and money spent. So I recommend you find 
the best commandos for you to do this. Uh, Sun Tzu will work, but you'll have to make sure that your army is facing towards the Barbarian. Now you saw that with my Wai Sangi, it's so easy. They're all around me. I don't have to do anything. And as well as Wai Sangi just does incredible damage. Now I'm an infantry main, so I am using infantry and they are a lot tankier, but you don't have to use only infantry, of course, depending on what your tech is at, as well as which of your commanders are uh, very specialized in this specifically. So this is my basic guide on how to do honor. Uh, there is quite a few ways to optimize this, of course. And as I said earlier, make sure you don't waste any AP. Go for AP every day. You don't want to have any unused AP because over the course of these 50 something days of KVK, if you use your AP every eight hours, you will have enough uh, honor point just from that to get most of the reward. Now, if on top of that, you get a few altars and you're in an alliance that captures a few things and you do this uh, every few days for an hour or two, you'll have every single reward that you want from this list here and hopefully place high enough in the honor roll to get extra reward that are even better as well. So this is definitely worth it. As you see, there's so many, like it just, it adds up on top of each other. And uh, 20 of these culture here for just doing this is absolutely incredible. We're not even one fifth of the KVK in, and I'm already about one sixth of the honor roll here. So, and I haven't even started farming. So you can tell it's quite achievable. Um, this is something that I encourage everybody to do. It's the priority of what to do to get the most reward in KVK, other than basically winning KVK, which of course, that is something that you don't have much of a choice on other than being in the right kingdom, in the right alliance. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, as always, feel free to ask us some comment, uh, some questions in the comments if you have any, or join our Discord to ask us any questions there, as well as make sure to subscribe and check our playlist that is in the description for a lot of Rise of Kingdom content. We have tons of different videos on KVK specifically on how to prepare, which commanders to use, uh, epic tier list for free to play, uh, we have it all, so make sure to check it out and subscribe to our channel for more of this kind of videos, as well as videos on other games who are similar. Um, as always, guys, we thank you for uh, watching and encouraging us, and we'll see you next time.